Hello, kids. Uh, welcome again to another week of learning for English grade four. It's me again, teacher Sonia, and I hope you guys are ready to take up another lesson for our English. For this time, we are now in week three, so we're going to be taking up module three. So I hope you have the module three in English with you. And our module is entitled General Statement versus Specific Statement. Okay, so I wonder what's the difference between general and specific. And that's what we are going to learn as we go along to our discussion this afternoon. So I hope you guys are now in your comfortable seats with your modules. Ball pen, of course, if you have wiped out, why not? Okay. All right. So are you ready? And I hope you are. All right. So now let's turn on to the next page. Okay. For our first page, okay, for everyone, you go directly to Roman number Six. That's the Roman number six. That's the VI in your modules or on your modules. And we have there what you will learn. Now, children, in this module, you will learn how to tell the difference between two types of statement. With the help of this module, you will learn to distinguish between the general and specific. Now, children, if you talk about general, kung sa bisaya pa na ang kinatibukan, okay, as a whole. Pag, pag maingon ta o specific, so when we say specific, na asya'y gina point out. Na asya'y gustong i, uh, na asya'y idea na gustong ipagawas. Okay, na asya'y main nga gusto niyang itudlo or i-point out. Now, let, now, let's take, for example, check and learn. Now, we have there two columns in each number. Now, the direction says, copy the words in your answer sheet. Let's not use notebook, of course, answer sheet. And underline those that are specific. I think you can see your answer sheets being placed in your on your modules or in your modules i want you to look at it we have their english quarter three or q3 m3 answer sheets okay now you look at there don't forget to write your name and then the check and learn so this is where you will put your answer okay so number one let's take this up okay so we will be talking about um, it says here, copy the words in, in your notebook and underlines those are specific. So, na siya point out, specific. Na siya ay kung ka ng as uh, the idea mismo. All right. Now, look at the example or the item number one. We have there driver worker kung atong tan-awon children ang driver isa ka worker correct diba so meaning kung moingon ta og driver is specific siya nga word nga nagpoint out sa general word nga worker Nga naman, because when we say worker, when we say worker, kung may mong tag worker, daghan man o klase nga worker. Not just driver, we also have teachers, we have nurses, we have engineers, we have carpenters, farmers. All of them are example of workers. So meaning, Dili siya, but when we talk 
talk about workers, it is not a specific idea or a statement. It is what we call general statement. As a whole, kinatibukan. But when we say specific, narsya gustong isang a point out. And that is why in number one, children, our answer is driver. Very good. Because the instruction says, copy the word in your notebook and underline that those that are specific. So you don't need to underline those specific, but we just need to write the word itself in the answer sheet. Okay, so number one is driver. Okay, you try. Number two. We have there in number two, we have cyclist then we have athlete okay so if you can see there you can see the difference which of these two words cyclist and athlete is giving us a specific statement okay Put your answers on your answer sheets now. All right, are you done? Okay, very good if you're done. All right, so let's try to check. If your answer is athlete, it is wrong. Okay, because when we talk about athlete, there are different kinds of athletes not just a cyclist we have a swimmer um um uh the one uh the the soccer players yeah the basketball players we have the gymnast yes those are example of athletes but when we say cyclist it's specific these are the athletes who race using their bicycles correct it's a cyclist all right so meaning we have here the specific word so our correct answer is cyclist very good for those who got your answer correct very good but for those who didn't you still have the chance to change them why not okay all right so number three Number three, we have school official, principal. Hmm. Which of these words are giving us a specific statement or a specific word? And number four, we have dog, animal, which is the specific word here. And of course, number five, furniture, couch. Okay, when we say couch, that is like the sofa. Okay, the sofa we have in our living room. All right, so I think you're, you're done answering. Now I'm excited to check that as your parents will pass that next a week. All right, next, let's go to the next page. Come on. All right, now we are now in lesson five distinguishing between general and specific statement before you proceed to the lesson let's check how you understand some sample statements draw an exclamation point before each okay exclamation point before each statement that you think tells the exact information so when we say exact information, this is what we call the specific statement, like our um, activity a while ago. Okay, now draw a triangle. Triangle this time, children. Before each that you think needs to be explained further. So you mean explained further, that means it's 
general. It's very broad, so it needs to be explained more. Okay, all right. Now, are you ready? Let's try number one. Films produced nowadays rely heavily on computer graphics. Do you think this is a specific statement or that needs, uh, that has an exact information or it needs to be explained further? Films produced nowadays rely heavily on computer graphics. Is it an exclamation point or is it a triangle? Answer now. Okay, if you're done, let's try to see. Anybody who answered triangle, that is correct that is correct it is what it is a statement that needs to be explained further films produced nowadays rely on heavily uh rely heavily on equipment graphics now the question is why because there are a lot of things to be done, like the editing, like the, the Photoshop, see? So there, that means from the word alone or from the sentence alone, it still needs to be explained. Kinahanglanan pa siya palaluman ng explanation para siya masabdan. That's why it is a general statement. Daghan pa siya explanation. Okay. Number two, let's proceed to number two. Most people grow faint at the sight of blood. What do you think is this statement indicates? Do you think this is the statement that needs more explanation? Or this statement is in exact. Okay. Okay, shall we answer? If you answered exclamation point, that is wrong. Okay, so this is not actually an exact information because not all people who see blood faints. Dili tanang mga tao nga makakitag dugo makuyapan. So meaning dili siya pwedeng ma-generalize. Dili siya pwede para sa tanang tao nga statement. Kay tungod dili man tanang tao makuyapan ko makakitag dugo. So dili siya specific. General siya kay tungod kinanglanon pa siya na man na may la uh, uh, na pamaylain nga kuan nga statement nga nga uh, mak, napay lang tao nga maka experience nga dili sila makuyapan okay so the answer is still triangle very good all right so for the 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that will be your items to be answered independently okay so i'm also again excited to see who among you are able to distinguish between information having an exact statement and an information that is needed to be explained further okay next page please everyone page two okay so this there we have Find out and learn. Look at the illustration above. Okay, look at the picture, children. What do you think are the pupils doing? Okay, so we have three types of picture there, right? Children, whether you are reading a news on a newspaper or 
on the internet or talking to your classmates. It is important that you understand the information they're trying to tell you. Even when you write a paragraph, it is important that you can give the general or specific information or statement about your topic. But before that, you must first need to know the difference between these two types of statement, which will be discussed in this lesson. Being able to differentiate the two can be helpful to you in writing and speaking. So like I said, diba children, when we say it's specific, na siya gustong i-point out nga uh, idea. Nga maorajid na siya. But when we talk about general, it talks out as it talks about as a whole. Kinatibukan. Okay? Kanang um da na siya mga klase pa uh, it needs to be explained further. Mo na siya ang general. So dili kanang imo siyang gi gi point out nga para siya sa tanan. While coming ka specific para ra jud sa usa. Okay, so importante kay na nga may balaan ninyo na children. It's because not all statement can be a specific statement. Dili pwede nga ang imuhang na experience ma-experience sa tanan. Dili pud pwede nga ang iyang experience ma-experience nimo or kinahanglanon ma-experience nimo. So it is uh, de uh, it depends. Okay. So on the situation given. So pag maingon gyud ta specific na asya ay gustong uh, na asya ay point out nga idea or point. But when we say general, iya hanggi dala ang kinatibuk-an. Okay, general para sa tanan. Okay. Now, let's proceed to the next. Discuss and learn. General statements cover broad categories or group of people or ideas. They usually express the overall aspects, characteristics, or elements of these categories or groups. General ideas tend to communicate topics that need to be explained further uh, if readers are to understand them more. Okay, muna to kung i-explain ninyo kagalina, children. Okay, igikuan niya as a whole. So broad siya. Dako kay siya nga explain noon. Dako kay siya nga it i, i, i take up para mas masabtan or nagpalalo okay while specific statements usually clarify explain and illustrate general idea and statement by referring to particular individuals numbers uh, or ideas they tend to express distinct. So, pag may yun, get tag distinct, na agit siya, point out, yun nga isara. Distinct characteristics that define those individuals, number, or idea. Okay. So, nasabta na siguro na. So, kung as specific, gani, mo na gina siya katong distinct. Katulad yung isara ka idea or katulad na mura siya, mura na siya o sample sa general, sa kadaghanan. Muna siyang pinakadali. Ang specific, mura siya o sample sa kinatibukan, sa general statement. Okay, children? Alright, so let's study the difference between the state, so the stand sentences below. I say okay. We have there. There are two columns. We have the general statement, and of course the specific statement. Okay, let's take up first the 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 the, the number one. A dog makes a good pet. Okay, 
Nga nung nag-general man siya. Okay, let's try to read the specific statement. A dog can help reduce the owner's loneliness, decreases stress, and encourages ex, uh, encourage exercise. Uh, exercise. O, oh, diba? So, meaning, ang specific, mura na siya o explain niya ang broad nga statement nga a dog, a dog, not a dog, sorry, a dog makes a good pet. Kaya kung ingon ka, a dog makes a good pet, kung pangutano ni mo, why? That's the time na muhatag ka og specific answer. ba? So, ang answer nga, why? Ang specific statement nag ingon, a dog can help reduce the owner's loneliness, decrease stress, and encourage exercise. So, you see? Ang specific statement, nag-answer siya or nagkuha siya og idea sa general statement or nag-explain siya about sa general statement. Okay, next. The Philippines is an archipelago. Ingon ang specific statement, the Philippines is made up of 7,641 islands, making it one of the largest archipelagos in the world. Okay, so specific siya. Gi-explain siya nga nung ang Philippines or ang Pilipinas children isa ka archipelago. It's because it is made up of 7,641 islands. Islands. All right. Next, there are many reasons why we need indoor plants. Ingon ang general statement. While ang specific statement nag ingon, indoor plants boost mood and productivity and reduce your stress and fatigue. So, meaning in specific statement, Iya na pong explainan kung ang mga reason why we need indoor plants. So ang inyong una -una -una, children, it is easy to determine between the general and specific. It's because ang specific, iyang gikuha ang iyahang explain ideas from the general statement. Kaya ang general, nag-speak siya as a whole. Ang dog, good pet. Ang Philippines, archipelago. Ang reason why we need indoor plants. Muro yun na ang sa general statement. Well, ang specific, gi-explain niya why. And nag-explain siya indicating a distinct character sa mga gipang present nga idea sa general. Okay? Ang dog nga ng good pet kay nag-reduce ang loneliness, nag-decrease ang strength, nag-encourage ang exercise. Ang Philippines archipelago because it's made up of 7,641 islands that making it one of the largest archipelagos in the world. Then, nag Explain na po siya about the reasons why we need indoor plants. Ingon siya mo boost ang mood and productivity and reduce your strength and fatigue. So ibutang sa huna-huna children nga ang specific nakuha siya sa iyang idea from the general statement. Iyang gitagaan o distinct explanation or distinct characteristic ang unsa may gihatag nga idea sa general statement. Okay, children, nasabtan. Okay. So, in the first sentence, the dog being a good pet is a general statement. So, like I said, muna na akong explain So, let's not go more further. Kay Morogit, pareho rin yun siya. Ako lang siyang gibisaya kaganina. Okay. So, let's proceed now to the next page. Okay, children, we have here 
learn some more. Okay, niabot na ta sa atong mga activities. Now, naani siya sa inyong answer sheet. Below learn, uh, review and learn. Learn some more letter A. Okay, for this learn some more letter A, the instruction is on the blank before each number, write GS if the sentence is a general statement and write SS if it is a specific statement. Write down your answer in your answer sheet. In your answer sheet, children. Okay, all right. Number one, I'm going to give you, of course, example because I like you guys. Okay, teacher loves to give bonuses. Okay, all right. Number one, each of our electric kettles, kabalong sa electric kettles, katong initana ng tubig. Each of our electric kettles consumes just 800 watts of power. So, di ba? Tanawa. Kung inyong unahunaan sa akong gingon, ang general statement, nag-state nag, nag lang siya, um, nag-state siya ang idea as a whole. Pag specific gani, na siya explanation about the idea sa general statement. Di ba? Okay, now, the sentence is, each of our electric kettles consumes just 800 watts of power. 800, Rabagyut? Okay, so let's try to answer. Okay, everybody, is it GS or SS? Go. Okay, so if you're done, let's try to see if your answer is correct. And if you answered S, S, that is correct. Okay, so it's a specific statement. Why do you think it's a specific statement? It's because it's giving its explanation. Okay, each of, each of electric kettles consume just 800. So, nagyad siya distinct na explanation na nag-consume lagi daw 800 watts of power. Pero kung may nga na siya, each of electric kettle consumes power, kana siya general. Kay tanan man yun nga kettle, nga electric kettles, na yun siya. Ay harin siya mo andar kung itusok siya sa power. Okay. Alright. So, SS. Very good. Now, you continue answering that. 2 to 5. Next, letter B. It says here, choose the correct letter, then write down your answer in your answer sheet. Okay, so in the that children, one to ten nisha. Oo nga, one to ten, one to nine na di ay nasobrahan ang number ni ma'am. Okay, so one to nine lang siya. Number one, let's try to see this one. Orange is a source of vitamin C. Is this a, a general statement or a specific statement? All you need to answer is A or B. Okay, so if you answered letter A, that is wrong. It's not a general statement because orange is a fruit that is a source of vitamin C. Pero pag may ngayon ganyan mong general, may yung fruits has its vitamins or fruits give off vitamins to the body. Muna siya general. Naghatag lang siya specific nga. Example, orange is a source of vitamin C. That's why nahimo siya of is specific. So the answer, children, is letter B. Kinsa kay nakasakto, excited ko. Pero, hindi pa man ang pwede makasub. So go ahead, children. Okay, so two to nine is up to you. 
later after this video lesson. Next page. In next page, we have there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mugya po ninyong gamiton sa kuan. Let's go directly to what I have learned. Now, in what I have learned, a general statement expresses a broad topic that needs to be explain further mo yun na inyo una una on pag kinanglanon pag siya og further explanation general statement yun na siya while the specific statement expresses distinct characteristic that defines or define a topic okay children next page let's go to the next okay do and learn Give five general statements about yourself. Ooh, this is interesting. Write down your answer in your notebook. And then for letter B, give five specific statements about yourself. Mm -hmm. Kaya niyo yan, children. Write down your answer in the answer sheet. So I'm so excited for this one since... I haven't seen you for, okay, so we started our class around September. And until now, wala pa jud kita si mamog isa-isa sa inyo ha. So kung inyong i-describe inyong self, generally and specifically, ani siguro nga page maka ila ila na si ma'am sa inyo ha. Maski wala kita si ma'am. So I hope you will. Answer this truthfully para mas maka ila si ma'am ninyo. Okay? Alright, children. So, do and learn. Good luck. Uh, next page. Evaluate. Okay? For evaluation, children, read the pair of sentences and choose the correct letter. Write down your answer to your Answer sheet. Okay. Mama, sa omini siya pag answer. Okay. Now we have their sentence one and sentence two. Okay. So in sentence one, number one, children, it says most children today learn how to use the gadgets quickly. In sentence number two, companies are now taking measures to be environment friendly. Now, the question is, A, sentence one is a specific statement. B, sentence two is a specific statement. Or C, both sentences are general statement. Okay, so in your initial basaon ng sentence one or sentence two, then you try to distinguish if this is or this are both specific ba or a sentence one general then a sentence two um, specific or both sentences are specific depending just a sentence and then you will choose your answer from a b and c of course i will not give away answer for this one since this is evaluation and this is where I will base if kamo nakasabot sa discussion ni ma'am kaganina. Okay? So this is until number seven children. Okay? So tama na di ay siya sa number seven ang evaluation. Okay, so if you proceed to the next page, children, we have their try and learn. Diba? So, ang ginga sa try and learn. Go back to your responses in review and learn. Katong pinakauna na to nga review and learn yun ay uh, 10 numbers. Nga nasa page. Uso to siya nga page. Nga nasa page 1 gyud siya. In uh, in one and two, explain why do you think the statement is general or specific. Write down your answer in the in your notebook. Pero kanisha wala na ni nako siya So you can exclude this one 
Pwede na ni siya delete ninyo buhaton. Okay. So, ayaw na ni siya ansiri kay na-answer na naman ni Nato siya kaganina before ta nag-start yun. O, discussion about specific statement and general statement. Okay. So, wala ni siya. So, katura nga kung gusto niyong ansiran ka na ay item sa inyo hang answer sheet. Okay, children? Okay. Also, if you can find there a formative test, you are also required to answer that one. And that will be recorded, of course. Of course, can you show children an answer sheet? Of course, we also have um, some recording to do for this one. Okay? All right. So, let's go to the... Oh, okay. So that is our last slide for our lesson in week three English. Okay, so I hope you have uh, understood our lesson or you understood our lesson about general statement and specific statement children. And of course, if nag-doubt mo, nag-duha-duha mo, kung nakasabot ba mo or wala, since this is a video lesson, you can rewatch or play it again so you'll be able to hear my explanation o mas maintindihan, mas maintindihan, mas masabtan ninyo siya o tarong. Okay, children? Pwede ninyo siya i-play anytime you want also to help you answer with the items kung nalibog mo. Okay? All right. So that's about it. Thank you for your time, children. I hope I will be seeing you again next time for week or module four. This has been your teacher, Sonia, saying good luck answering your modules. And I'll see you next time or I'll hear you next time. Bye, children.